The Gospel according to John is one of the earliest accounts of the life of Jesus. The clear purpose of this book is found at the end of John in chapter 20, verse 31. John writes, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, that by believing you may have life in his name. John believes that the Jesus we read about in this book is alive and real and that he can change your life forever. Which brings us to our highlighted text where John is quoting Jesus in chapter 5 verse 24. Jesus says, Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. We were dead in our trespasses and sins, walking in darkness. Jesus is making a profound statement that salvation is a free gift from God for those who believe in his son, Jesus Christ. So that while we are dead in Adam by virtue of our inherited sinfulness and the sins we have committed as a result, those who believe pass out of death and into life and life eternal. Amazingly, it is not that we will pass from death to life, but that we already have. The implications of this are staggering. This means that the Christian does not wait for eternal life to begin at death or when Christ returns as he promised in this passage. For the Christian, eternal life begins upon belief in him who sent Jesus. Those who believe will repent and put their faith in Christ and begin living. One of my favorite ways to do Bible study is to take a verse and really break it down and kind of add my thoughts in that. And I would love to share it with you guys. So chapter five, verse 24, very truly I tell you, Jesus underlines a point by beginning with very truly. Everything he says is true. This doesn't mean that what he's about to say is more true, only that is, it is more important. Whoever hears my word and believes. We are saved by hearing the truth of the gospel of Christ. At Pentecost, Jesus empowered his followers to preach his word. From then, a Christian who preached in the name of Jesus was, was being spoke through Jesus himself by his spirit. Today it is still Jesus's word that saves. Him who sent me. Whoever believes Jesus's word believes God who gave his one and only son has eternal life and will not be judged. The believer has begun eternal life upon salvation. Judgment has been given on Christ on that cross. So the judgment for his or her, her sins was put on Jesus, but has crossed over from death to life. This is a powerful way to express that they have been reborn. Rather than eternal death in hell, they have eternal life. First on heaven, first on earth, then on heaven, and finally in the new heaven and the new earth. The difference between moving through life in an eternal process of death and living life through an internal process of coming alive are deeper than we can actually comprehend on this side of heaven. But there is so much that we do not know about the abundant life that Jesus came to give us. It is a way of love, joy, truth, goodness, peace with God, fruitfulness, stewardship, and glory to God with everything that we undertake for his sake. It is the life in the kingdom of God under the lordship of the king. 
today, I just want you to, to just think on this abundant life that Christ has promised us. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. Bye.